The beard's a little more red than the last time. I mean, you got some beard dye in there? I got to ask. No, it just just naturally grows like this. My Both my older brothers have big old ginger beards just like mine, so. <laughs> Uh, on football notes, uh, a lot of cross training for you, left tackle, left guard. We've seen right guard, we've seen right tackle. You've kind of been all over the place <laughs> besides center. Is there a place you feel like you're, more, or you're most comfortable in right now? Um, not really. I mean, I, I just love playing football. I love really what, whatever position they need me at is uh, wherever I'll play. I don't really care where I'm at. Is it difficult at all to kind of have to switch back and forth, you know, switch your footwork, switch your technique, or is it kind of just natural now? I'm, I'm kind of used to it because uh, in the season, you know, I was – starting to guard for a while and then I had to switch out to tackle and I've just been uh, during this winter training I've been switching between guard and tackle so I've, I've gotten pretty used to both of them. Coach Jigger just kind of said that you know uh, athletically you've shifted and have you know just become a much better athlete what have you kind of done to, to accomplish that? Um, you know I think I've uh, been a little bit harder on myself watching what I eat uh, I've been taking creatine which has been helping me get bigger uh, you know these our strength our new strength test that just came in they're 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 really good uh it's really good for us what was your your most natural position like in, in high school where were you playing most well so we ran the triple option so it was it was a little bit different um you know we were all of our weight on our hand and uh just ready to run through people so i mean i played left guard left tackle i played next to rod so um pretty much and i mean i played right left side whatever whatever they needed me it's kind of like been, just been the same since high school coming off last season just in general uh, as an O-line group what was your guys' biggest emphasis coming into this this spring camp what did you want to clean up for yourselves or, or figure out in this this over this month I mean I think uh, one big thing is just just getting a little tougher uh, just mentally uh, you know we've been a lot harder on ourselves like as a as a group we've just been I feel like this this offseason we've worked like really hard to try to perfect what we've been doing what of the the newcomers on in the group, uh, uh, Pole and Nkanu, and then also the the younger players, maybe the guys who redshirted last year. Uh, who among them has impressed you and st stood out to you? Uh, I mean, Christie's pass blocking has been phenomenal from what I've seen, um, and then Essa's just just a massive guy. You know, he's really hard to move. So both of them have like kind of equally uh, presence themselves. What do you think the lines made the biggest stride so far in spring? Um. I don't know. Uh, we, I feel like we've we've gotten like tighter as a group. We've been um, <clears throat> we've been better like just uh, working as a like Connor said, working as a nickel instead of a uh, five pennies. Hi, this is Kyle. Um, I work with WSU Inside Scoop. I just want to know uh, how do you feel about spring ball as an offense? You know, it's really been known as a defensive school. How do you feel about changing that narrative as an offense? I think it's been awesome seeing those receivers getting them deep balls down the field. You know, mm -hmm. that's something that we didn't see a whole lot last year. Um, so, you know, it's, it's great having to run down the field chasing after you guys. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.